Welcome to the Dad Got Parks Disney Character Warehouse update for Saturday, March 13th. This is the Vineland location, and we are going to kick it off with ears and hats. They are having a big sale right now where all ears and hats are $3.99 or less, including this ink and paint hat, which is actually a really nice hat, and it has a lot of cool characters on it. All of the ears, $3.99 or less, including these uncrustable ones. Apparently the ears look like uncrustable sandwiches, but they're purple and sparkly, so they're nice. I think these are gonna be pretty popular coming up here in a little while because the 4th of July is coming up. And what better ear to wear for the 4th of July than an Americana ears? And in case you didn't get enough of Christmas, there are adorable gingerbread ears. You get Mr. and Mr. Gingerbread, I think that's their names, maybe not. Or you can get Jack and Sally ears. Nope, these aren't Jack and Sally ears, these are just Jack ears. There's no Sally on there. It's Jack, Oogie Boogie, and Zero, and it even has that little snake on there. Somebody asked today, hey, I think these are up ears, but what's with that grape soda thing? I'm like, what? Have you not seen up? It's his button, that's their badge. These are pretty cool. I think you could totally rock these at the Flower and Garden Festival. That's going on right now. Dad has a vlog on that. Go check it out. I still have concerns about poppage on these. Like, I really think these are going to end up popping on people. I mean, you're going to have like, like a sad deflated ear. That's not going to be any. Who's Han Solo's favorite rapper? Tupaca. Waka waka. Tupaca. Okay, I like that one. That's pretty good. This is a great hat for $3.99. I mean, gardening, it'll keep the sun off your head. I like it. Very wickery. This is one of my favorite hats that they've got there. It's all distressed looking. It's the Haunted Mansion, which is a fantastic ride, but it's just a, a really cool looking hat. This one, eh, I could do without. It's just a basic hat. I don't see anything really special about this, but it's there. And it's got the little Disney World in there. They had the big goofy foam hats. And I was like, wait, where are the ears? The ears are tucked up inside. Lots of kids were buying these, by the way. This one's just an awesome logo. Like, it's got the Banshee. And in that lettering, very cool hat. I actually like this a lot. This one's also a decent Pandora hat. But if I were to pick a Pandora hat between the two, I'd definitely go with the other one. And that is a clasp I have never seen, like a click clasp. This is a hat that I actually wore to the outlets today. The good old Skyliner hat. And I really like it because of the design on the inside of the bill. I think that's pretty nice. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. This is an I am Groot hat, if you didn't get that before, but it seemed a little cheap. If I were to pick an I am Groot hat, I would pick this I am Groot hat. It's just a nicer hat higher quality, a little bit cooler looking, same price. This is a test track hat. And the one thing that you wanna know, this is super lightweight. I think this is like a uh, performance sports hat because it's super light. I love that this has the little tail on the top. I've always seen the ears, but never the tail. And our buddy, Stitch, he's still $2.99. And I still think he's one of the cooler ear cap ones that are out there. I like it. He gets me every time. That guy, man, he is just rude. I I can't get him to stop attacking the camera. I'm sorry. And these are youth hats. And the difference is I think the bill's a little shorter and the height is a little bit smaller. I've heard a lot of women can wear the youth hats without a problem and they don't look funny. Just a tip. This one sounds cool. It says it's like reflective and you can actually see the bill kind of sparkles kind of want to just buy one to take a flash picture of it. I conquered the rock and roller coaster, which after doing Everest, I don't know if I'll be conquering the rock and roller coaster anytime soon. Oof, it's been a while since I've been on a coaster. This guy, he goes to infinity and beyond, so I don't think he'd have any problems with a coaster. God, that's bad. I should leave the jokes to the bear. Ugh. I do like the Cars movies. They are good movies, and this is a cute hat. And I love me some Lightning McQueen. ka -chow. Gotta do a ka -chow. Trash Panda hats, amazing. They're awesome. 
Rocket Raccoon is one of my favorite characters from from Marvel. He's just funny. Why did the Jaguar stop playing poker at the safari? Because all the others were cheetahs. Waka waka. Oh man, that was bad. That was not funny. Rocket Raccoon, funny. That Fozzie joke, not so funny. These are reversible, these uh, youth caps. So it's kind of cool, you get two caps in one. And just because the hats were on sale, it doesn't mean that there uh, weren't a lot of variety to pick from. There was a good selection of hats, and I actually like that jack hat a lot. Kind of want to wear that one day. I don't think I could pull off this Oogie Boogie cap, though. Baseball caps and some of the fedoras I can pull off. This one, I don't think I could pull off. This one, I kind of wish the kiddo wore hats because it's adorable. I really like this hat with that, like, mesh grass weave. The kiddo would probably pick this one over the other one, though, because it's a unicorn, it's pink, and it has a horn. So, I don't know if I'll ever get my, my hat wish. And this is actually an infant hat. I hadn't seen many infant hats before. Looks a little big, but they say it's for an infant. Maybe your kid's got a big head. And if you like visors with our sparkly and our fabulous, fabulous, you could get that one. It's only $3.99. I'm a little sad that they did not make this hat smell like strawberries. I really think that is a missed opportunity. Although then your whole head and hair would smell like strawberries. So is that bad? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think they should have made it smell like strawberries? Maybe they should have. This is a busy getting dizzy hat. And this one's kind of cool. I don't know. Like the bill doesn't think like it would keep any sun out of your your head. But I don't know. Very retro-y. This one's cool. Like I feel like I should be like dealing cards in a Disney back room to like, you know, a bunch of dogs playing poker like Pluto and Goofy and, and whatnot. I don't know. I'm getting off on a tangent here. I should probably stop because guess what? Oh, it's time for everybody's favorite game show. What did dad buy? Welcome back to what did dad buy? First, little outlet update. The craziness ensues. The whole they don't know what they're doing and how they're handling people lining up is still continuing at Vineland. The rule is supposed to be you can't be there till 9 o'clock. That's what we were told. But they're allowing people to come around 8 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, they're taking names to put you on the virtual queue. I got there and there were already people waiting when I arrived a little bit earlier. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, they're telling people to go to a certain section, but you can't be near the Disney store. I think they still need some time to really iron this out and enforce whatever time they want so that people know to come and they don't come late thinking that that's the time, but there's already people there before the official time. Who knows how this is all gonna work out, but you probably don't care as much about that as about seeing some more merchandise. So let's take a look at what dad bought. You know, in this family, we have a slight mug problem. You also probably know if you've watched any of my videos, the wife's favorite princess is Ariel. So when we saw this, it was a must purchase. The Disney ABC line is starting to make its way to the outlets. This is the older version of the Disney ABC line. I guess they've updated it. And this was $5.99 and it's Ariel. Come, I mean, how cute you for under the sea. Adorable. But that wasn't the only mug we purchased. Orange bird. How adorable is that? He looks awesome. $5.99 these mugs. I mean, you can't buy crappy mugs at Target for like $5.99. Or you can, but they're not Orange Bird. Meh. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. This is gonna be in your head for the rest 
of the day. Yeah, it's a small world. They also had this one. And the one I bought in honor of my adventure this weekend, I rode Everest for the first time in probably 10 years this weekend. And boy, was it rougher than I remember in my youth. So to commemorate that, I bought myself a Y for Yeti. Look how cool, come on. That is an awesome mug. I mean, I screamed my head off like this. I forgot it does this. Ah! Oh boy. Ah! Yeah, pretty much. Go check out my Animal Kingdom vlog, which will be out soon, probably next week. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to edit it. And uh, you can see dad uh, not do so great on Everest. And then the final mug I got was, they brought out a couple of these in different colors. By the time I got to them, cause I was walking around vlogging and everything, there was only this one left. The Alice teacup mug, and it has a saucer built into it. That's on there, that doesn't come off. So you get like your own little spoon rest for your mug and Solid two finger, good handle. But this was a $5.99 mug. A good uh, friend of mine, Diz D from the Disney Stranger channel, asked me to do a little bit of hats and ears because that's what she really was interested in. And she's got somebody going to buy some stuff for her and she really wanted to know what hats and ears are gonna be there. Well, I got pretty much every hat and ear that was in the outlet on video. So you've seen most of those. But I bought a couple too. We bought another set of these because you can never have enough red, sparkly, glitter-tastic ears for $3.99. That's a nice set of ears. And because I thought Christmas gifts would be good and these are $2.99, I had to buy another set of the gingerbreads. Look how cute those are. You got Mr. and Mrs. And it's got a peppermint bow. And there's no date or anything on these, so these would be good for Christmases to come. Many Christmases to come, good sir. Why did I do that? Never mind. The ear and hat sale continues. Everything is $3.99 or less. So I purchased for the wife a Minnie Mouse. $3.99 ear hat. Because sometimes those ears pinch the headband ears and you don't wanna wear them all the time. And it's nice to just throw on a hat, but you throw on a hat and you've got ears. $3.99. And it's signed. It's like a collector's item. Now these were there last week and I didn't show you and I totally forgot I purchased it, but Empire Strikes Back. These are nine fitty hats. I think that's how you say it. That's how the kids say it, right? Nine fitty. That's what you, fitty cent, uh, uh, a quarter, nine, nine quarter, nine, nine two quarters. I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me. But it's a snapback hat, Empire Strikes Back. And these were $3.99. This is a $35 hat. That's an insane deal. These are good hats. Speaking of good hats, I mean, this is about as, as good a hat as it gets. Hold on. Yeah, the Mickey wizard hat. I mean, I have no clue if I'll ever wear this or if I'll ever be able to wear it. Um, it's kind of warm, my head's already warm, but it's cool and it's $3.99. I could, I could be making, hold on, let me see if there's anything in here. Hold, hold on. No, there's no magic. Be great if there was, wasn't it? If like, you know, like somebody just jumped out of there with billions of dollars, that would be good. I would continue the, the rest of the thing with that hat on, but it's hot. Now they had these trinket boxes, but they only had the D. I got these at International the other day. 
the E trinket box. These are $7.99 and they're like a little jewelry box. But this one has the Tiki Birds for Enchanted Tiki Room. The wife joined me on my shopping trip today and she purchased some shirts and things for herself. I thought this one was pretty nice. This was $12.99 before the discount. I'll have to figure out what that is after, but it's a nice top. I think she was feeling the Animal Kingdom spirit since we just went to Animal Kingdom. So she got herself a little animal print dress for $12.99, not dress. This is a top. This would be a very small dress. Maybe, maybe the kiddo could wear this as a dress, but look, it has Mickey's and minis. Look how cool that is. Another $12.99 purchase, Disney Cat Lady. I showed this one last week. I thought this was a cool shirt. The wifey picked it up for herself. Disney Cat Lady, love it. And this is just a steal. Um, after the discount, these are like $6.39. Look at how cute that is. Walt Disney, this is your classic souvenir t-shirt, but it's $6.39. Awesome deal. And the last thing is $24.99 originally. So after the 20%, I'll probably flash that price up there, but a new tie-dye spirit jersey. They've had the like multicolored bright ones, but these are just pink tie-dye. And of course, Walt Disney World, <clears throat> Walt Disney World across the back. A nice spirit jersey. I mean, spirit jerseys are really hot and for 70 bucks in the park, it's pretty pricey, but at less than $25 at the outlets, it's a worthy purchase. Even if we don't get to use them that often in Florida. So that concludes what did dad buy? I also wanna just address something. Um, even though I put on my video that like it's 10 a.m. when I get there, um, we shop, then I vlog. So I probably don't start vlogging until closer to 11. Um, a lot of people will say, oh yeah, all the stuff you show, you can only get if you're the first person in line. No, 100% um, true. The lounge fly bags and things like that, yeah, they're really hard to get. You kind of have to be one of the first ones in the door to be able to get those. Speaking of those, there were the same bags that were there last week were there this morning. The Rainbow, the Sully, the Park Icons, and they had a couple of the Ewok wristlets. Not a bunch, but a couple. They were all gone by the time I started vlogging, so I have nothing to show you. I can show you pictures, but you know what they are. They were the ones from last week. Um, the other thing is I go lots of times midweek, four o'clock, five o'clock, and I still get great stuff. A lot of this merchandise is all there at that time. Ears, hats, shirts, toys, they have a lot of stuff and they stock throughout the day. So just because you're not the first person in the door doesn't mean you're not gonna be able to get some of this merchandise and some great deals. So don't be discouraged and think, oh man, I'll never get there first person in the door, so I'll never get out of that stuff. Lounge flies, maybe. But Thursday at International Drive from like one to four o'clock, they had every lounge fly available. You could just walk in and buy it with very minimal weight to get in the store. So it's kind of luck, but it's not, if you wanna really increase your odds, get there, be one of the first ones in the door, you got a great shot at it. But don't be discouraged and don't think these are only the things you can get if you're first in the door. These are there probably right now, midday. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Get back to the video. This R2D2 wristlet is pretty cool. It's not quite as cool as the Wicket one I got last week, but I would probably rock this. I will definitely be rocking my Wicket one. Now these are back, they've been there a while ago. They've been there. They were there a while ago, and now they're back. They're $27.99. I think they were actually $37.99 last time they were in the outlet. Now this is supposed to be some sort of convertible bag. It feels very heavy, and I don't know if it opens up into a bigger bag or something, this would go with that visor we saw earlier, and you could be retro-tastic. Family will not miss you, you will be found. The Avatar Banshee bag is still around. This has been around for 
I don't know, quite a while. It's a pretty cool bag, but they're just not flying off the shelves. These are $4.99. They were $9.99 a while, then $7.99, and now they've been $4.99. And I think that's a pretty good deal for a small world item at $4.99. If you don't want the bright, giant, see me everywhere bag you could get the americana bag and that one's what is indiana jones least favorite band the rolling stones waka waka okay bear you redeemed yourself on that one that one's pretty good this is some sort of a dooney 10th year anniversary is it, has is it like the 10th year of the partnership between disney and dooney let me know i'd love to know that kind of information this is a nicole something bag danielle nicole and it's a small world bag. They had a ton of these wristlets. I mean, like like a metric ton. They had a lot of them. They're very sequiny. They're $20.99. But it's a cool little bag. This one, I see these around a lot. The Darth Vader dresses are not flying off the shelves because I guess there's a very limited place you could wear a Darth Vader dress to. The Sally dress is a nice dress. This one was um, the only one there, and it was a 3X. They did not have any other sizes. The dresses are kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they've got a bunch of them. Sometimes they've got like one in one size. Here are some tie-dye spear jerseys, and I love that these are unique. Each one of them is slightly different. And to get a spear jersey for 20 bucks, you cannot go wrong. This is from this year's Food and Wine Festival. I mean, that's pretty good. Well, last year's food and wine festival that didn't really happen. I don't know. It's the 2020 food and wine festival. I like this shirt because it's got all the pictures, but I also like it's got all of the movies and the years they came out. That's a pretty cool shirt to have, but it doesn't fit me. The Mandalorian. What a fantastic series. If you didn't watch The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, you need to go watch it. Amazing. You don't even need to be a Disney Star Wars fan to watch it. This was cool. This is a set. So it's kind of like, I think, a beachy cover-up type thing, but it's got the pants come with it, and the pair of it were $15.99 because these were, like, inside on a hanger attached to it. That's a pretty good deal. So they had these, which are not spirit jerseys, but are spirit jersey-esque, I guess. Um, for the girl who has everything, I like this shirt a lot, or top. That comes with pants. You get shorts and a top for $11.99. Another fantastic deal. This, oh my god, I wish they had this in anything other than extra small because the wife would wear this with her cat lady jersey or cat lady shirt and it would be amazing. I always think that the, the churros don't always like strike me as churro immediately when I see this design. I don't, I don't know what I think of them as, but they don't look like churros immediately to me. This is a really nice hoodie. Like, it's very lightweight, though, so keep that in mind. Like, you can actually see through it, as you can see through there. As you can see. Disney Mom. This is about as cool a Disney shirt you can get for a mom as I think you could get. Unfortunately, they were only extra small. This is a youth shirt. I know it's just kind of thrown there in the middle. I was walking around, and I saw it, and I thought I would film it. So it's kind of stuck in between the other ones. So keep that in mind. This is a youth shirt. These are back to being adult shirts, the Disney icon. So if you don't want to wear ears, you can wear ears on your shirt. Might be more comfortable because the ears kind of pinch a little. Everything's about the dot. It's all about the dot. And sleeveless shirts are pretty cool. Tank tops. Why do they call them tank tops? Does anybody know that? Somebody let me know in the comments why they're called tank tops. I mean, they don't drive like a tank. Like, reminds me of nothing of a tank. Let me know. I love flip sequins, though. I could do that all day. This one I just thought was an awesome shirt. Like, I like the little red line and the, the neck. And then, of course, all the drawings of Mickey. Very cool. I still want to know why they call them tank tops. More tie-dye. Lots of tie-dye. Tie-dye's in right now, apparently. But this is a tie-dye t-shirt for $11.99, as opposed to tie-dye spirit jerseys. And uh, this is uh, kind of like how I, I picture my daughter being, because... Man, that kid loves Disney music. As soon as she hears a song, she is screaming her head off while well, singing. This is an awesome shirt, man. I really like freaked out about this shirt and was mad that it was only a medium because I wanted to get one for the wife. But that's just an awesome design graphic-wise. See? 
Grape soda. For those of you who don't watch Up or don't know Up, look it up. Grape soda. It's their little badge for their wilderness. Not wilderness explorers. For their adventure club. The wilderness explorers is something totally different. I'm getting off track here. This is a villain shirt, and I love anything villains. Now, this one is not the Skyliner. This is what preceded the Skyliner. There used to be these little things, I think over at Disneyland, maybe even in Disney World, where you could go from park to or park to park, or in Magic Kingdom, maybe. I might be telling you completely wrong information. I do know that this is Oswald the Rabbit, and I do know that I am rambling. I want this shirt so bad. Rescue Rangers Hawaiian print shirt. I've never seen one in a size that fits me, and if I ever do, I am buying it. I'm buying two of them in case it gets messed up. I own this shirt, which we paid... Not really full price, but a higher price on shopdisney.com just because I love button-ups and I love Hawaiian shirts. And I love this shirt. This is a really cool Maleficent shirt. I still don't think I could pull off one of these all over pattern shirts. I don't think it'll work for me, but I think it's a cool shirt. All of the kids uh, boy stuff was really kind of the same stuff we've been seeing all along. I didn't see a whole lot of new stuff, anything that was like, whoa, this one, I just wanted to film because I thought it was cool because it's glow in the dark and it's Tower of Terror, which is a cool shirt. This just gives you a little bit more of an idea so you can see what's here. You can go back and watch my Mega Paloozas or my older vlogs and you'll see the information on these. The Child Spirit jerseys. I get a little shocked that these are in the outlets. I thought the Child would be a little bit more popular than that and wouldn't have made it to the outlets, but you never know what's going to make it to the Disney character warehouse. They do have lots of masks. Let's hope it's not too much longer we need them, but they have them if you want them. Pins. There were some pretty cool pins, like this one for $6.99. Favorite princess of the uh, kiddo. And did you know that there is a National Unicorn Day? Well, there is. And they made a pin for it. They got a pin for everything. Honestly, if you look at all the pins they have at Disney, it's ridiculous the amount of pins they have. And always be you. I thought this was a cute pin, and for $3.99... I like it. It's Minnie Mouse, it's $3.99, and it's a cute pin. This one threw me off for a second because I'm like, why is he tan? Oh, he's made out of sand because it's Castaway K, which is the Disney private island. If you've never been on a Disney cruise, fantastic. Highly recommend it. I have a vlog on it. Go check it out. This is a great pin for $3.99. Anything Maleficent is just awesome, and that's just a cool looking pin. This one's pretty nice too. The villain stuff is always awesome. And $3.99 pins are pretty good. Not as good as $1.99 pins like those Hades pins they used to have. But I love this lanyard. It is so vibrant and so colorful. And the printing on it is amazing and just has awesome, awesome characters. I mean, you've got Hades on there. You've got Jafar, Hook. You got the Queen, Scar, Dr. Facilia. I mean, just so many good ones. These are awesome. The ABC collection is starting to make its way to Disney, and they have a bunch of these cool ones. So we've got a bunch of letters. We got B. I should have bought that for for my family. But I like this fairy one. I guess I, I gotta stop saying but. I say but too much. Tinkerbell. You got Lion King. Hakuna Matata. It's a wonderful phrase. K for Animal Kingdom. With a little prairie dog there. I like that. N for Nemo. Which is weird. I think it's like N for Nemo. But they didn't put Nemo on it. I know somebody who should have bought this mug. But didn't buy this mug. I have no clue why they didn't. And I should have bought it for them. But I, I just thought they would have bought it. So you got the R for River. I'm going to guess. I'm probably wrong on all the reasons why they put these on there. Soren around the world. I know this one. That's a cool mug. Soren's a great ride. I really like that ride. Huh. We saw this one before, didn't we? Dad bought this Yeti mug. I showed it to you and what did Dad buy? But I wanted to show it again because it's just such an awesome mug. The Starbucks tumblers are down to $7.99. I've seen a couple of them. Today they had Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. Usually the Magic Kingdom ones fly off the shelves. They have a good amount of the ink and paint stuff left. Some of the plates, the paint stuff, the magnet. 
They've got the mugs with the little straws. So there's a good amount of ink and paint stuff here if you're looking for it. They also have the retro Crocs. I really like the design of these, like the little rainbowy color and the castle on the side looks really nice. I've never worn Crocs that often. I should probably try to find myself a pair and see if they're comfortable. I see a lot of people wearing them. The, the Halloween ones, they even light up. That was cool. Now the Crocs were in multiple sizes. Um, so you just have to check them. They vary. Some days it's one, some days it's another, and it's hard to dig through them to get all the sizes on those. The Marvel stuff was still here. They got Rocket. They've got the Iron Man shooters and the Black Panther shooters. These are some pretty cool shoes. They are not Crocs. They are slip-ons, but pretty cool. I said it again. Thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate every one of you. We hit a th we hit 3,000 subscribers and blew past it. We're up at room 31. I'm gonna put the video out this week announcing who won the 3,000 and what the 4,000 subscriber giveaway is gonna be. Hint, it's something you saw last week. Or maybe this week, some week. It's cool, trust me, you're gonna like it. I'd appreciate it if you check out my memberships, DGP Alliance, you get all kind of cool benefits. You get the chance to win personal shops, you get the chance to win Loungefly bags, sketches by me, all kinds of stuff. That information is in the description below. Join on Patreon or hit the join button here. It's only five bucks a month and it really helps out the channel. Pretty much all what's going back into giving you guys prizes. Thank you for watching. My brain broke. It happens a lot, doesn't it? All right, that doesn't do outros. So that's it.